Hey, what's going on, my friends? In this video, we are going to talk about general liability insurance. I'm going to explain what it is, who might uh, need it, and what's kind of included with it, how to go about getting your uh, general liability insurance uh, certificate, um, and share with you three different companies that provide it to those of you who are self-employed, who are independent contractors, who are small business owners, freelancers, you know, the whole shebang, because too often, you know, we are the people that kind of get neglected. We get forgotten, we get overlooked and, you know, I figured, let me make sure I'm looking out for my people. So we're going to jump into this video, but before we do like this video, show brother a little support and also subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos because I'm going to also be making some additional videos explaining other different types of small business uh, insurance policies that you might want to consider getting that might be relevant for your particular business. But for now, we're going to talk about general liability insurance. So what is it? Well, we're here on Thimble's website, one of the companies that do provide um, general liability insurance to, again, those of you who are independent contractors, maybe you're part of the gig economy, you work on Instacart, on Fiverr, on Thumbta uh, uh, TaskRabbit, on uh, uh, Uber, Lyft, you know, the whole shebang, or maybe you're doing your own thing around your town, your city. Um, well, you want to consider getting something like general liability insurance. And general liability insurance, also referred to as commercial general liability, CGL insurance, or business liability insurance, protects a business against the risk of accidents like bodily injury and property damage that happen to a third party. CGL is the most essential insurance for a business. If you don't have it and something happens while you're on the job, one big claim could cost enough to put you out of work. With general liability insurance, you have the protection you need to stay focused on building your business. And like I said, that is the main thing. That's the key part that uh, people, you know, don't really think about. You know, they're like, well, I don't really need insurance. Like, you know, I don't want to pay it. Um, but when something happens, you're going to end up being responsible for that money yourself. And it's going to cost you much more money than your small monthly fees that you're paying for your general liability insurance. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, you know, do I even need it? Like, I don't I don't think I really need general liability insurance. Well, um, who needs it? Let's jump into this. We're over here on Next Insurance's website and general liability insurance is included in most business insurance packages because it covers the risk that many business owners face every day. It is not typically required by law, but some clients and agencies could ask you to have a certificate of insurance before they work with you. I've actually had that happen to me before. I've had to, unfortunately at the time, I did not have um, uh, small business or any kind of general liability insurance. So the uh, opportunities were lost and that was money that was in my pocket. I worked with one of those clients in the past. They loved me. They unfortunately had moved into a different building. That new building did require, you know, um, a, uh, a certificate of insurance. Um, which I did not have at the time. Had I known about Next Insurance and how easy and quick you can get your insurance, even with Thimble, I think they're part of their big thing they say is you can get your policy in 60 seconds. So if you need general liability insurance because of a job that's coming, that came up or has, a, you know, presented itself today, um, you know, you can literally get your general liability insurance like that. Um, just by, you know, filling out, going through the forms, the applications, get a quote um, that you see here on Thimble or on Next um, Insurance as well. But some examples of business owners who might need general liability coverage include general contractors sometimes need general liability as a part of the license requirements in their state. So depending on the type of work you do, contractors, you, uh, you may need in what state you are, you may need uh, general liability insurance. Fitness instructors need coverage for some certifications, and it's usually required if they work at a gym. Anyone who wants to rent commercial property could be required to have coverage as part of their commercial lease. And as I mentioned, some of you might be wondering, well, you know, let's get it. Like you said, that certificate of insurance, how do I go about getting it? Um, when someone asks you, 
to have coverage, they will typically request a certificate of insurance, a COI is what it's called. Um, and that includes your business and insurance information. The client or organization you are working with might also ask you to add them to your certificate. In the insurance industry, this is called an additional insured. Next Insurance simplifies the process with the digital certificate of insurance that you can access 24 seven from a mobile device or computer. And that's part of the reason I decided to work with them um, because I, you know, I I was I seen positive reviews and things like that. Um, And that certificate, I needed that certificate so that I would be able to um, take on future jobs and also be protected, be secured and make sure my business um, is good to go if something does potentially arise in the future. So I do want to cover. um, what is what does general liability uh cover um and different you know like i I feel like i've seen somewhat different things on different sites you know now we're here on geico's website where they also provide general liability insurance as a whole you know they'll say it's property damage physical injury defense costs personal and advertising injury um that is kind of like the gist that i feel like you'll see Um, regardless of where you are looking when it comes to general liability insurance and what exactly is protected. Um, Again, I'm going to come back to next insurance. and This is who I'm most familiar with, but I did want to share with you Geico as well, because that is a third option in case you are already working with them for your car insurance or something, one of the other insurance policies they provide. But again, you might be wondering, what does general liability cover? Well, general liability business insurance protects you from unexpected expenses related to many types of accidents that can result in injuries, damage to property you don't own, and accusations of libel and slander. Accidents that cause physical harm to someone. Accidents are not 100% unavoidable, and unfortunately, some accidents can cause physical harm to people who come into contact with you, your employees, in your business. For example, you put your toolbox down on the sidewalk for a few moments while you're loading your van in the morning. A jogger doesn't see it, trips, and breaks an arm. In this case, you can be sued for medical costs if you don't have general liability insurance. You would need to pay out of pocket to cover any related expenses. Lawsuits related to an injury generally fall under three categories that are covered by general liability insurance. Bodily injury, loss of income, and pain and suffering. Then there's damage to someone's property. General liability insurance policies cover you for damage that you cause to someone's property. The best general liability insurance for small business includes both significant and less serious accidents. Some examples include landscaping, construction, beautician, among others. Then there's copyright infringement, libel, and slander. Personal and advertising injury claims usually occur when you're accused of invading someone's privacy, copyright, or advertising infringement and defamation of character. And you can learn more about each category with these examples. Breach of privacy, copyright infringement, and defamation of character. Now again, different policies uh, with, with different companies and depending on your particular business, what state you're in, All of those will factor into how much your uh, general liability insurance would cost. So I unfortunately cannot tell you guys how much your general liability insurance will cost for you. Um, You'll have to just check out one of these three companies. For example, there are others out there that you can do research, but I'll have a link to Thimble down below and Next and Geico for you guys to, um, you know, check out their general liability insurance policies. And I also have links down below to a general, um, like an overview of small business uh, insurance that you might want to consider checking out because I do briefly mention and cover other types of small business insurance policies that might be more or might be as relevant to you and your particular business as the general liability insurance policy is. You know, rideshare businesses, if you work for Uber and Lyft, well, some companies actually provide rideshare insurance. If you uh, fly drones, some companies uh, provide insurance to help you with, uh, you know, protecting uh, uh, your drones or, you know, if there's any injuries or any, you know, damage, anything like that. Um, And again, there are others that you definitely want to consider checking out. And I'll have a link to that video down below.
But on that note, I'm going to keep it moving. Let me know if you guys have any questions about general liability insurance. Are you currently working with any of these three companies? And if so, have you had any um, accidents or occasions where you've had to rely on their services and actually reach out to them for assistance? If so, leave a comment down below letting us know about your experience because it would be really helpful to uh, other uh, entrepreneurs, other self-employed freelancers, independent contractors who um, and small business owners, of course, who are considering getting insurance with one of these three companies or maybe another uh, small business, uh, um, I mean, uh, insurance provider. So like I said, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or any uh, feedback or suggestions about your experiences with any of them. And, um, you know, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. And uh, on that note, now I'm going to keep it moving. But you guys already know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.